Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress, that is me, the babbler, that is me, on this evolutionary uprise of a high at this time. This is video number three of for March, March, blah, 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 March tarot advice, oracle messages to all you beautiful astrological signs. I broke down this video in three. So video number one is Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. Video number two is Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. And now for our final segment is video number three that will have Scorpio, Sag, Cap, and Aqua's message. Here I am using the Fairy Forest Oracle along with the Rebel Duck to add some humor and light to such a heavy time so although i'm a little bit late this month if you tune into video number one i explain all of that over there but i'll just touch base that even though all these messages are timeless in every kind of way whenever you come here take what resonates let go what does not and just you know tune in and see what is there for you um Make sure to um, share, you know, your experience when you visit here too. And note that, you know, um, even if the message doesn't apply to you at this time, it can be something futuristic along the way. So be mindful of that in every kind of way. And note that um, we are more than one sign as well. So make sure that you get into further align with your astrological selves and know um, your charts and I would advise you to know both your Western and Vedic astrology charts as well there's many wonderful free sites that give you insight into that and research also would help um, because I feel that all applies if we infuse and read between the lines and we will see how both um, astrological um, um, studies into our psyches reveal unto all of us truth in, in, in many kind of lights. So um, without further ado, as I said, this is some Palo Santo that I just lit up for here um, to clear some of the air because I've been emotional. My dear, today was a very overly emotionally charged day and I find that when I get creative in every kind of way I remove the stagnate that tries to come up and try to choke hold me in my emotional overload you see because sensitive is me in every kind of way so with that being said I've already felt better you can see my energy shift and change and rise um, through my videos that I've been recording which this is video number three make sure to tune into video number one two and three I will share all links below um, also you can tune into my blog I usually share these shares of because I made my um, tarot prediction for every month of tarot energy that would be influencing kind of overseeing all the astrological um, signs every single month so for the month of March um, the ace of wands was the influencing tarot energy that is gifting some kind of inner sight to to all of the signs and so when we look at um, the ace of wands upright it's about inspiration new opportunities growth and potential but if we look at it reverse it's like the emergence of many ideas lacking direction though and it just um, brings upon delays distractions frustrations uncertainties might might be um, influencing the environment you might have a lot of energy and passion but lack you know clear idea focus and direction so which also goes into very much align with mercury in retrograde at this time which is about reassessing reevaluating and a lot of karmic shit being pulled up and uprooted so that we can get rid of many of the pollutes and handle a lot of the businesses that we may have not handled in the past or you know to allow us to apply the wisdom we have learned on these lines into now so that we may um, further align bright in our own you know 
evolutionary, you know, upgrade that is happening every single moment that you choose to allow it to um, be that way for you. So, without further ado, moving on to Scorpio's message at this time. Thank you, Scorpio. Highlight. Um, what advice do you have as we say from before, listen to the message from before, know your Vedic, know your Western. In Western, uh, in Western astrology, I'm a Sag, Sun, but in Vedic, I'm Scorpio. So, you know, it's just very interesting to know all aspects of, you know, our own astrology. So, um, yeah, so... Spirit, guides, ancestors, divine, God, goddess, mother, father, earth, spirit, collective grouping of just wisdom here, the energies that ring truth here and near and dear. What messages do we have for Scorpio? What advice? What inner sight can be gifted at this time with wisdom, love, truth? And honor. What messages do we have here for Scorpio? For Scorpio, emotional realms we are traveling through. Stay away from any kind of gossip, too. Um, she was going down in every kind of way, and you are mastering that emotional realm inside of you, so you might be triggered in many different kind of aspects that will cause you to be a lot more honest with yourself and a little less manipulative with others as well. You know, emotional manipulation will not service you in any kind of way. It'll only bring further stagnation. So take with that what resonates and let go what does not. That card tries to pop out the golden unicorn. I forget who got the golden unicorn before. I believe it was Aries. But I can be mistaken, so if you wanted to go check out that message, or maybe you have that in your chart as well. So, the Golden Unicorn, Protector, Guardian, and Champion. It's so nice and beautiful, too, to go with the Rebel deck that's anti-unicorn, but I won't go there. Even though I find this deck hysterical, I am not anti-unicorn. Unicorns are actually one of my divine spirit animal guides that allows me to see them, too. So, that is great. Here we go. Um, the golden unicorn. You are championing this wave at this time, and you are diving deep into waters that is not easy, and most do not dive into. And you might be picking apart others from the start, but it's time because it's only because you have done it to yourself as well. So there is a lot of things that you are championing through. You are protected and guarded too, and um. You know, stay true to you and own up to a lot of the shit that might be stirred by your emotional ways of conditioning that may have not been healthy yesterday and may not be useful for you today. So it's like being triggered in some kind of way to help you purge the things that do not serve you at this time. <laughs> Take a fucking trip. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. It's time to get out of your headspace too. And just ride this wave. Conquering every kind of state of oceanic wave that comes your way. So the golden unicorn, okay? The golden unicorn. Everyone deserves to have another person in their life to whom they can turn to for protection and care. When this card comes for you, the golden unicorn is showing you the path to a person, advisor, or mentor who will assist you through the challenges you are now facing. When the golden unicorn appears, it is as a beacon of hope for with the right guidance, what seems to be impossible can be achieved. And you will no longer feel so raw, vulnerable, and unable to go on. Sometimes taking a time out is necessary. 
It's okay to go into a hermit kind of mode, but don't stay stuck there either and do not push others away. Just allow yourself to give yourself that space to honor your space so that you can go be golden and all conquery <laughs> on your way with a clear mind, peace of mind, peace of heart. Um, when the golden unicorn appears, it is a beacon of hope for with the right guidance, what seems to be impossible can be achieved, and you will no longer feel so raw, vulnerable, and unable to go on. The golden unicorn appears to those who are facing unjust circumstances. They will show you step by step how to get through this time when it seems that all friends have fallen away and the world is no longer a safe place. You're not being attacked either. They lead with reason, intelligence, and intuitive brilliance. With their guidance, you will come to a safer place within the world and be wiser in choices regarding friendships, alliances, and partnerships. You are wiser now and will never be quite so hurt again. That is great, my friends. There is now protective energy about you and it is safe for you to leave the current circumstances and create a new path. The judgment you have sensed about you will now dissipate and true good people enter your life to help heal the pain of friendships that have fallen. Do something different. Take a fucking trip, even if it's in the fucking same town as you or in a town over. Go out. Go paint. Go to a bookstore. Spring is here. Go ride a horse. Go horseback riding. Hmm. Go on a hike. Go to a new type of class. Do something. Take a fucking trip. Go out in nature. Moving on to our Sagittarius. Alright, Sagittarius' messages at this time. Thank you for tuning in, Sag. I am Sun Sag in the western side of astrology. Sagittarius is also me. What advice is being offered and gifted to Sagittarian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, South Node, North Node, whatever, Upload, Implode. Um, know both your Vedic and Western as well so that you may get a bigger, larger scope of your own damn picture. What advice message is being gifted to Sagittarians at this time during this Mercury retrograde of the season? Although this message is timeless in every kind of way, take what resonates, let go what does not. We are using the Fairy Forest Oracle for our advice, along with the Rebel Duck, the Oracle with Attitude, which is assassin appeal for this overly emotional day that I have experienced in every kind of way and if you've watched video number one two and three which will be all for you to be able to find and dive into because I will provide all links in <laughs> this meal this time snoring um in the bottom so here we go three more times shuffling first Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus Jupiter South Node North Node whatever node um you know just get to know your chart get to know you astrology is fun too the golden <laughs> unicorn showed up for sat for scorp and I believe Aries too interesting 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 too Ooh. Here we go, Sagittarius. <sighs> Destruction ending, final moments, like the tower card come crashing down. But this is a force to be reckoned with. This is a destruction and ending made with clear consciousness made by the one destroying and making the end through wisdom, justice. Reminds me of justice. Two. Next to my rebel oracle deck with attitude. What message can be attached to this? Two. Make sure to also read your other parts of your science that influence your chart on, oh, you know, to get a full, clearer message for each of you as well. Ah. <sighs> 
these messages may resonate with you and gift you health, wealth, style, and insight. What sign are you? Share that too. Oh, here we go. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I like how it matches. RNG, Rad, you are winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit, okay? Number 11, two, partnerships. Winning in partnerships. After the destruction and ending of something that does not longer, that does not belong. <laughs> Wisdom is required here. There must be an ending and it must come soon. You have stood between the forces of destruction for some time, believing that to hold on and to maintain what is seeking to end has been the strong and the right thing to do. That means being honest with you too, boo. But then this card comes. But then, but when this card comes, it is Ragnarok, the end of the world. And while this card can speak of earth changes and cataclysms that begin with the sea and the land and the sky, balance, the magician, on an ultimate high, it is more truly about the end of a one time in your life. Some feelings inside. Because the cycle is nearing, not only completion, it must end in order for the new beginning, which awaits you to be given the space it needs to enter and flourish some thought and feeling patterns too that are unhealthy for you need to come to an end boo everything has its time we are triggered so that these things can be purged from our lives every tree must fall please know that you are neither weak nor are you a failure for letting this ending happen holding on is taking up all of your energy and draining you when the finality you are hoping to avoid will actually bring you renewal truth a raw, primal moment when you can become your own true self again, when you honor your own feelings, my friend, by being honest with yourself. A raw, primal moment when you can become your own true self again. Cease exhausting yourself by holding on to what is already over. You cannot stop what seems to be destruction, but you can ready yourself to face what must be faced to go through the hard time that will soon come, but which will bring you so much richness and so many opportunities. Stop forcing shit. Let go, friend, and cease your quiet suffering. Howl. Cry. Lift the sky with your cries of pain, but then sleep. And know you will return with a spirit daring, strong, and reborn. If you follow me on social media, you will see that I said if you need a nap, take a nap. And a nap I took. Moving on to our Capricornio energy. Okay. Capricorns, here we go. Your message here. This applies to your Capricorn Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, South Node, North Node, whatever node. Know your Vedic, know your Western, know your placement for your ultimate growth and evolutionary alignment. I have a Cap Capricorn Venus in both Western and Vedic. <laughs> so what messages are being offered and what advice is being gifted to Capricorns at this time on their journey what inner sights of wisdom and clarity can be gifted to the hard working Caps who sometimes forget that you know emotion that they deny can set them back so if they just allow for certain things to be instead of getting into just only the practical side of things and set themselves free there can be a lot of like winning for them too you see in all the hard work that they set out and do on this earthly planet too 
What messages do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, I shuffle three more times. Before the gathering, card 29, also 11, equaling two partnerships, boom, celebration, anticipation of an event, hmm, let us see, Capricorn, Shepherding, the rebel duck, what messages, the oracle with attitude, how to contribute to before the gathering, a celebration is being anticipated of what event, some event that is coming drawing near, but it's still very unclear because Mercury retrograde likes to play with everyone's emotions, triggering us to learn to stand our ground in truth, you know? It's not playing around. So here we go. What rebel oracle is being shown a message for Capricornios at this time? Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Before the gathering. I know it sounds contradictory, right? Time to let go of the expectations of how something is going to go. Time to let go of what you think you need to, like, restrict yourself of, behave like on, um, hold back on. Time to let go of your rigid nature, you know. Time to let go of the fear. Time to let go of what no longer services you, my dear. Time to let go of the past. Time to let go of what holds you back from doing the things that you want to experience time to let go of so many things that do not serve you right that are not in alignment with you and a lot of that is mental blocks too time to let that shit go to and move the fuck on or do you want to stay stuck in some quicksand okay 29 partnerships here we go Time to let go, maybe of some old. <laughs> Time to let go. Know your um, Vedic as well as your Western. Okay? Know them both. Because you might not even know that Capricorn is in your chart. Okay. 29. story of two Do. for you dear one a celebration is coming even if it doesn't appear to be so a time to acknowledge the markings and passings of the great turns of the wheel turns of the wheel as soon as you let go time to let go my dear and for you to gather together with friends relatives and significant beings and ask them to unite in a common cause of joy for what has been achieved it is time to look forward to anticipate and to prepare for this event may even be taking place simply on an energetic level once you motherfucking let go okay all as all the beings who have long wished for your well-being now gather together to applaud the place where you are right now and then let go this will be coming for you and it is in the future once you let go so this card is a great omen of good to come for you once you let go it is time for you to put on your finest garments, take the very best goblets and chalices from their dusty hiding places, and raise a glass of bubbling fairy energy to the wonders of life. It may be your birthday or another occasion, such as the graduation, the acknowledgement of an accomplishment, or the completion of a test. Let's let go. <laughs> Whatever it may be, it is essential to mark the impending time with joy, applause, and an expression of bounty. Prepare, be ready, and enjoy, dear one. You deserve... All this exciting and exhilarating occasion is heralds for after the effort comes the reward. Soon it will be yours. And to let go. Moving on to the final 
sign that is in this video number three aqua season 24 43 timestamp please aquas this is for your aqua sun moon rising venus south node north node jupiter whatever make sure you know that you're make sure you know your charts in both vedic <laughs> this applies to you too all right this golden unicorn is just appearing everywhere on this bread but it's just interesting okay so make sure that um the golden unicorn is an aries message as well as another signs message i can't remember who and then sagittarius's message the golden unicorn so you can check that out too um if you want but also just know the placements of your charts in both vedic and western astrology because it's just this infusion of this whole i know that some people most people it's most common practice to choose one over the other. I infused them both. Um, it's essential for our growth. I am intuitively, divinely guided to receive that message in that kind of way. Um, that both apply in every kind of way. Look at that and I keep shoveling. But yes, so the golden unicorn is appearing uh, all over. So, Aqua, this message is for you. This is video number three. Make sure to check out video number one, two, and three. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, tuning into the energies at this time. So, what message is of advice is being offered to Aquarians at this time? Aquarian Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, North, 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 Node, whatever, Node, Vedic Astrology. Western astrology, make sure you know what influence I have actually in Vedic astrology. I have an Aquarius moon, <laughs> so it's interesting. <laughs> I'm grabbing it because it like just appeared out to me abundance, peace, and contentment. 23 5. Five, symbolic of change. Change is coming. He wears his crown. The king is coming. Frere. That's how you say frere. Frere, frere, frere. Abundance, peace, contentment. Now, using the rebel duck, local with an attitude, what other message is being added to the Aquarius sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, south node, north node, whatever node, Vedic upload, western download, oops, I've done some cards, okay, let's fix that. message is meant to receive this might apply to some awkward to detox please that might be in whether it's alcohol drugs relationships food um just consuming things that are just not good for you um pills i just heard so i don't know take what resonates let go what doesn't stop masking um, it could be causing some toxicities, headaches, just aggravations, frustrations. Let it go. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't make this shit up. So drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Okay? So, especially for this time of your life. Okay, especially to get here. This is futuristic, my dears. I just see, ooh, I just see symbols everywhere here. Um, something is growing, something is emerging. Um, a detox is in order. Can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. And it's both orange here. Okay, so detox, 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 friendships, detox, um, things that you're consuming, detox thought patterns, detox behaviors, detox, detox.
detox, detox, write a list down, things that detox thoughts. Um, sometimes thoughts are the assholes that create stabs that um, are not true, you know. And maybe there's something that you need to fucking apologize about and seriously just like fucking do it, okay? Fucking apologize. Twenty-three. Your integrity has led to healing and unity, which gives you vast potential. And this surge of energy, once you fucking apologize, brings with it the ability to prosper. A continual flow of energy to be invested once you detox to certain kind of things that no longer are in alignment with you. Just let that shit go to detox and fucking apologize. Being at one with who you are destined to be can also lead to the power to create good fortune for yourself. So detox what no longer belongs and fucking apologize. Even to yourself, begin with yourself. Fucking apologize to yourself. This abundance which will come lovingly and safely can result in a time where you take your place in the world once you detox certain shit that no longer suits or is suitable for you and you fucking apologize like you need to do start with yourself first okay you are now at home with your sensitivity your psychic abilities and you are able to help the world simply through being yourself okay through this detox okay um who you are at your core and using your beautiful innate intuitive talents you are on some kind of rise once you detox certain things out of your life and fucking apologize okay you are in tune with this new earth energy we all have this capacity all right to detox certain things we have to just get into that page of a wave and stop causing stagnation in our ways regardless of age religion race creed family background and our issues every human has a chance to change into a person with a higher purpose detox detox and fucking apologize first start with the fucking apology to yourself start with yourself because you are the one that owes this to yourself to be true to yourself in alignment with yourself for yourself in love with yourself because you deserve this you are deserving okay when we live from that place we are truly peaceful content and abundant we are like children coming home when we move into this energy and embrace the planet for the planet in her turn embraces us and showers us with gifts once we own up to our own shit, accountability plays a huge factor in this. You are one of the leaders of this change, one who shows the way from the light they share each day in simple ways by doing the things, leading by example, when we first own up to our own shit with ourselves. You are a wonderful person with a divine mission. You are important to the planet. You are moving into a time of physical health, joy, enthusiasm, and the wonderful energy of optimism through our detoxifications and when we fucking own up to our own shit and fucking just apologize to ourselves strong and joyful others will embrace the examples you offer at this time once you detox from certain shit from your life and just fucking apologize thank you for tuning in guys this was fun you guys helped me to feel so much better on this um emotionally overcharged overwhelming feeling of a kind of a day um, so I just want to say thank you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know. Tune in with me, guys. So there's video number one, two, and three. I will eventually type that all into the description box. You know how it is. If you see any of my other kind of videos, some of my videos don't even have a description. So with that being said, thank you, my friends. Tune in again.